got here through Stream Coach TV, or my friend Ashley Christ has been helping you out with your channel. I'm really excited you're here. So today we're going to take a high level look at how a brand works with a streamer. So the first thing that would probably happen is that a company like, we'll take Razor as an example, where they'd make a new product internally, they would go to the marketing team to figure out how to move that product. And so the marketing team would work with them to develop a brief that outlines what's the business problem. And that's going to be that we have a new product that people don't know about and that they need to sell X number of units and they have this much time to do it. Details like that. They go from there to their ad agency most likely who help them develop some creative, but more importantly, they would help them outline the budget and where that goes. Call that channels like television, print, radio, but most importantly for you, digital influencers. So, Digital, of course, meaning that the ad's going to be online. Influencers are what, what we call streamers in the ad world. And we call them that because they influence an audience. They, they have the capacity to captivate people. And people go to them when they're curious about how they should do things. They want to vlog, they might find the best vloggers and ask them what camera they use. Or, if they're looking to better their game, they might find out what's the best mouse or keyboard. And so that's where the connection really aligns in order to bring a product to an audience. So once the ad agency has got the brief from the marketing team at the brand, they would develop a strategy to go out to these different channels. And when they reach out to influencers, they might go through a company uh, that aggregates influencers together. They might work with an agent. Or they might or even work with the streamer directly. But in any case, they'll probably be looking for some similar things. So they might wonder how many followers they have on Twitter or on Twitch. Um, that's that's going to kind of outline what is the audience. They might even want to know more specific details about the audience. How old are they on average, and uh, male or female, things like that. So once that's been outlined uh, and the campaign happens, they would expect to know how many times was the brand mentioned? Uh, was the ad run during the stream? And how many people saw it? So being able to measure those things is really valuable. Additionally, if you really want to get ahead of things, you might provide insights into how the campaign might go better next time. Uh, who were particular portions of your audience and how did they get excited about certain parts of what you did? Um, what, what are maybe things you could avoid next time? Uh, and so those are things I really want to dive into with more videos. So if you'd help me out by leaving comments below and letting me know what are the topics that you're most curious about, what's most mysterious to you in this process, I'll try and develop more content that helps. So thanks so much for checking this out. Uh, please follow us at Stream Coach TV, my friend at Ashney Christ. I'm Joe Bot, and you can find me as well. So uh, I'll see you again next time, and thanks so much. <laughs>